Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Inna, I'm a Twitch streamer and I also do reaction videos here on YouTube. So lately I have been enjoying watching Geography Now's videos so much because they are so well made and they give me the opportunity to discover lots of stuff about beautiful countries that I didn't know much about. So um, as you probably can tell, I am a person that is very curious, likes geography, like different cultures, and I am very happy to discover more stuff, even nerdy stuff about countries, about the world, about people, about uh, cultures, languages and stuff. So today we are continuing to do just that. We are reacting to a completely different video though, a video about cars, specifically why do Americans drive automatic transmission and Europeans, Europeans don't. Uh, that I'm very curious to find that out. I am myself Ukrainian, but I live in Italy, so I drive manual. We do have um, automatic cars here as well, but I have never driven those and they're not that common, at least not just yet. So with no further ado, let's just get into the video. I learned to drive with my mother's Mini, and when I turned 18, I went to get my driving license. It was a manual transmission car, like 90% of all cars in Belgium, where I live. When I turned 20, my father said I should drive his car to the restaurant we were heading for my birthday dinner. It was an automatic transmission car. A whole new world opened to me. I don't have to shift gears anymore. My left leg is free. Wow! I didn't think about it too much, as I thought it was something additional. A luxury on a higher-end car to have like the Mercedes that my father had. Six months later I found a company for my international internship in the land of opportunity. Okay sorry about that. A buddy of mine and I rented a car for the first two weeks and the only option available automatic transmission. Well okay no problem I drove it once I thought and we got it. Later on, we bought an old 1991 Toyota Celica GT with automatic transmission. Well, that's odd, we thought. An old car with automatic transmission? In my mind, I'm still associating automatic transition being for luxury cars, so I couldn't place it well. Honestly, kind of same. I feel like... Um automatic cars are usually more expensive like maybe you even have like the same type of car available but if you want the automatic transmission is a bit more expensive i think so i'm not sure um i i own a hyundai i10 so like i don't have lots of experience with cars but if i remember correctly when i was buying mine that was the option that was adding to the price one month later during my internship, my boss asks to get something and I could use his car. When he hands over my the keys, he, he says, can you drive a manual transmission? And I was like, yeah, of course, I've got my license. And then he responded, well, this is the States, man. Not everyone can drive it. It got me thinking, what does he mean? Are Americans bad drivers? When I arrived back in the office, I asked my colleagues what kind of transmission they have in their car, and all of them answered with automatic. I was shocked to hear it. And when I said, in Europe, most of us drive manual transmission, one colleague responded, why would you? Automatic is easy. Why would anyone take the harder option? I feel like that's a very fair question. I honestly do not know the answer yet, so I'm very curious to find out. I went away and did some research and found out the following information. In Europe, 80% of all new cars are manual transmissions, where in the States it's around 5%. An automatic car is, generally speaking, 1,000 to 2,000 euros more expensive. The taxes on cars are very high, especially in West Europe and Scandinavian countries where taxes can be up to 150%, so getting an automatic over there is a huge amount of extra money you'd pay. Mm -hmm. In most European countries, you pay an additional tax on the engine size and horsepower, yes. which pushes the manufacturers into the smaller and lighter cars section, 
like an Audi A1 three-cylinder one litre, where in the US people tend to get three litre V6 or V8 engines. Automatic transmission is heavier than manual, mm. making your car weigh more, which causes more fuel consumption, which is a big no-no for Europeans because the gas prices are significantly higher there. Wait, what? I had no idea. Like, if you drive an uh, drive an automatic car, you're uh, like you're going to consume more gas. That's brand new information for me. I had no idea. For example, in the US, a liter, where one liter is 0.264 gallons of gasoline, is about 0.81 USD. It's way more in Belgium, here. Belgium, it's 1.62. UK it's 1.64 and Italy it's 1.84 that's pretty accurate as somebody that lives in Italy that's pretty much the price that I pay nowadays driving a manual car is harder and you need to regulate the clutch properly or you will consume more fuel mm -hmm. which in proportion gets higher if you drive a v6 or v8 mm -hmm. US car instead of a v4 euro car the maintenance and repair costs of automatic cars are also higher compared with Oh yeah, mm -hmm. I have heard this. Europe has a dynamic topography. The continent is dominated by narrower roads, hilly areas, crowded cities and bumpy terrains. Driving through the roads of Europe thus calls for ultimate driving experience with manual transmissions. Moving the gears up and down is more common when driving through the countryside area. Mm -hmm. Hence, manual offers seamless acceleration around the corners. To summarise, the differences are mostly economical and geographical reasons, not really the way how people like to drive. What do you think will happen in the future? Will the trend keep on going, or will we see a change because of electrical vehicles? Let me know in the comments, and if you liked the video, please drop a like, and if you disliked it, then drop a dislike. <laughs> well, I have to say that I definitely learned some stuff that I had no idea about. And I didn't imagine that at the end of the day it was all about the economical aspect. I thought that maybe it was like more cultural. Um, I don't know, like in Europe it's easier to produce sad cars and blah blah blah. But I'm like also thinking that like, yeah, in the US people drive cars that are heavier. Like the roads tend to be way larger while here uh, we have narrow streets, super busy um, cities, not a lot of sparking. Uh, like for example, Italy is like a very small country. Everything is squeezed. Uh, so we do prefer driving smaller cars. So like for example, for me, I have a very tiny car because like that's a city car that I need. I wouldn't need a, a Jeep, you know what I mean? Um, for, for what I do at least. So like that's why I went with that. But it makes sense. Did you guys know this stuff? Let me know in the comments down below. Do you think, uh, like, do you agree on all, all of these? Are the information correct? Do you have any other information related to the topic that you would like to share? So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye!